I've been very frustrated with the trend of glorifying obesity in this country and how magazine covers and the television industry now in an effort to make everyone feel comfortable in their own skin has decided to ignore actual health. And there's a glamorizing of, you know, obesity is healthy. And, you know, you see people who are grossly obese on the cover of a magazine and they're saying this is healthy, this is fit, and it's not. Reality is that they're predisposing themselves to a number of, of health conditions as a result of that behavior. As someone in the fitness industry, how do you deal with that? That like, does that feel like a slap in the face to what you're doing every day? And how do you manage those conversations with people where you have to just be honest about weight and what it does to the body that excess weight totally and i'll say like i said in one of my posts this is one of the things i'm like i'm tired of the bullshit you know because it's like it's gotten to the point where where people are just accepting being okay at a weight that is unhealthy and it's because of a lot of these agendas and narratives that are constantly being pushed down people's throats through Hollywood and media and magazines and TV and all this stuff because we don't want to hurt people's feelings and everything's trigger friendly now and everything's sensitive and it's like look the whole thing about you know not hurting people's feelings there's one thing I said like in my post it's like there's a difference between fat shaming and glorifying obesity huge difference right you know what I mean if I'm over here bullying somebody because of their weight then that's my problem. That's me who has to deal with whatever I'm dealing with. I shouldn't be doing that. But if I'm over here willing to accept that I'm gonna glorify and show on magazine, TV, like embrace your obesity, embrace this, embrace, what do you mean embrace this? You're setting a bad example to all the other people who are overweight, mm -hmm. All the children out there, because now you're getting more children who are becoming overweight and obese. Right. You know, pediatric facilities, like babies, are obese. It's, it's insane, it's insanity and it's sad on. because it's like that's only driving the country down a spiral with your health. We've already been having an obesity issue for a long time now, and it's funny because like for years we've always had that obesity problem and you know fast food issues and i feel like a lot of people have been taking into account more their health than before mm -hmm. and all these more holistic uh, ways of of being able to take care of themselves but then you got this huge push on the other side of like embrace your image embrace the obesity embrace, embrace this embrace this and it's like guys no understand that if you allow that to manipulate you and you're going to stay at this weight 10, 15, 20, you might die. Right. Like you might die. Like it's just plain and simple. You will eventually die mm -hmm. from whatever disease you develop yep. or whatever problems come arise. And if you don't understand that this is going to be a bad long-term effect with you, then you lost already. Mm -hmm. And and look, as a professional, if I don't talk about it, then I'm not doing my part. You know, And that's why I always tell people, coaches, trainers, like talk about it. Don't be scared to talk about it. Because I feel like sometimes people are scared to talk about it because yes. they don't want to get attacked on social. I don't care. Attack me all you want. Mm -hmm. You know, And I, if anything... I'm gonna bring the opposite spectrum that I've been seeing, and I've been seeing a lot of people um, fit shaming. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people now on the opposite side where they're constantly fit shaming people. Mm -hmm. They're attacking people for being overly fit and telling them, oh, you're sending the wrong message by being overly fit because you should be that fit. And what, how about the people who are not that fit? And it's like, hold up. So now being fit and healthy is a problem? It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, you I definitely got something to work with here <laughs> and here that yeah. you have to work on. And it's not to, it's not to laugh at, make fun of that, but it's just like, what happens is, I've, and I've noticed a lot of people who, who've put themselves in this position is because they're dealing with a lot of insecurity. They've probably dealt with a lot of trauma in their life. They probably have tried losing some weight. They just didn't have the right help or the yeah. right answers, and they gave up too early. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is they didn't feel accepted. They needed to feel accepted in a group that's going to take them in. They wanted to be around friends that were going to take them in. And then those groups started happening, and that's where they feel comfortable. Yep. But that group is making you worse. Yeah. It's only doing you worse. I